Thank you, President. My question is for the Minister representing the Minister for Health. Back in February, this chamber supported a motion to refer the matter of worker vaccine mandates to the Independent Pandemic Management Advisory Committee, IPMAC. Presumably, even some members of this chamber, who may once have supported mandates, recognise that they probably no longer served any purpose. Unfortunately, it seems that IPMAC moves at the pace of a ceramic turtle and have given no outward appearance of doing anything at all. Meanwhile, my office still receives regular stories of people who are on the verge of bankruptcy in despair as they are still denied employment, losing their homes. After the absolutely confusing press conference on the 20th of April, some people understandably thought that the work mandates had been lifted and quickly rushed out to secure employment, only to have their hopes crushed once again. Others have fled the state, and at this point I have to wonder if that's the true aim. Minister, when are these work mandates going to end? Thank you, President. And thank you, Mr Quilty. Um, as, I, as I think I've um, reflected in this House before, I actually really enjoy your questions. Um, don't always agree with the content of them, but you just threw me there. Did you make a reference to a ceramic turtle? All right. Um, I'm going to pass this one on to the Minister for Health for a, uh, for a detailed response. Not the Minister for Ceramic Turtle? Mr Quilty, on a supplementary. Uh, thank you, Minister. I don't have any more ceramic turtles, unfortunately. Um, these days, we're actually allowed to see the health advice and justifications, and I've got to say they're pretty flimsy. On the 7th of April, the Acting health, Chief Health Officer, Professor Cowrie, provided advice to the Health Minister. In point 111, he stated that the general worker mandates were proportionate at the time, past tense. In point 116, he states that it will be proportionate to shift away from orders mandating, mandating vaccines. Subsequent advice from the Chief Health Officer added nothing further to the matter. Clearly, the advice to the Minister was that it was at his discretion to consider lifting the mandates. We've had similar advice from public health experts. Ordinary Victorians are suffering for no good purpose. Minister, why are you persisting with mandates when the health advice clearly states that it would be proportionate to revoke them? Signs. Um, thank you, President. And um, I um, advise by, by colleagues that similar topics that you've raised is being considered by um, the parliamentary committee that was established in relation to the pandemic laws that passed this chamber last year. Um, but in any event, um, I think it's an evolving matter, but uh, we'll see what response we can get from the Minister for Health in relation to the questions that you've raised.